Hi everyone, this is Chica from Borrowed Delights and on this episode I'm going to share with you how to make chicken and biscuits. You can find the exact measurements for this recipe in the description box below or by clicking the link to my blog. So you're going to start by adding a couple tablespoons of olive oil to a medium sized saucepan over medium heat and you're going to add in some diced onions and celery and you're going to cook this for a few minutes until your onions are nice and translucent and your celery is nice and soft and tender. Next, you're going to add in some diced chicken, and I'm using three chicken breasts that I've diced. If you wanted to use chicken thighs instead for this recipe, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I just prefer using chicken breasts. So you're just going to give that a stir, and then you're going to add in some spices, and I have here some rosemary, black pepper, parsley, and some thyme, and I'm going to stir that uh, to combine with my chicken, and I'm going to let that cook for about a minute or so, and then I'm going to add in some minced garlic, and this is um, store-bought minced roasted garlic, and half of a chicken bouillon cube. I'm going to break up my chicken bouillon cube and give everything a good, nice stir. So this is going to cook over medium heat for about 5 to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add in some water. And I'm also going to be adding in my frozen mixed vegetables. You're going to let this come to a boil over medium heat and then you're going to add in your cornstarch slurry and all that is is that I've combined equal parts of cornstarch with water, stirred that together and then I'm adding that to my chicken mixture and the reason I'm doing this is that this is what's going to help thicken up our chicken sauce. So once that's been added, you're going to want to bring this up to a boil again and let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. Once that's boiled for the allotted time, you're going to pour this into your baking dish or casserole dish and then set that aside. For our biscuit topping, you're going to add salt, baking powder, and garlic powder to some flour and give that a stir to combine. Next, you're going to add in some cold butter and you're going to cut that into your flour until it resembles breadcrumbs. And I'm using a fork. You could use a pastry blend if you have one or you could even just use your hands to do this step. Next, you're going to add in some cold milk and you're just going to give that a stir until your mixture forms a dough and it will be a bit wet. If it's too wet for you, you can add a little bit more flour, but you definitely do not want your biscuit mixture to be too dry. So the consistency that I have here is good. It's a bit sticky, uh, but not like sopping wet okay so next you're going to take an ice cream scoop or just a large spoon and place dollops of your biscuit mixture over your chicken sauce and you want to just make sure you spread out uh, the biscuits as evenly as you can this is going to bake in a preheated 410 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until your biscuits are nice and golden brown once this is done, you really should let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes just for the flavors to meld together um, before serving. I obviously do not wait. <laughs> As you can see, this is still bubbling. Um, but go ahead and serve it and enjoy this. This chicken and biscuit recipe is, in my opinion, the ultimate definition of comfort food. It is so amazingly just incredibly delicious. So I really hope you guys will give this recipe a try. Please let me know how it turns out for you in the comment section below. If you would like to see more recipes from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button now so you can stay up to date on all my latest recipes and be notified when new recipes are posted. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well and tag me in any and all of your pictures of recipes from my channel as I would totally would love to see your guys' creations. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.